let's talk about the different types of breast reconstructions because they can have that implant done above or under the muscle, is this right? So techniques has evolved in the last few years. In the past, we, we used the muscle, the muscle which is the pectoralis major mm -hmm. muscle here, and we did reconstruction under the muscle. In the last few years, we now evolve into what's called above the muscle, where you don't have to use the muscle, and you have less animation deformity. They, they move less when you move the muscle. They have less pain. They recover faster. Okay. Okay. You also can use an implant, or you can use an expander. Mm -hmm. I have brought here some examples of different things. An expander, when patients don't have the space to put an implant right away, it's like a pregnancy. You know, when you when you are pregnant, after nine months, you have a bigger belly, but right. what happens really is you have more skin. Mm -hmm. That's because of the slow expansion of the skin. So in that concept becomes the expanders. So we have different type of expanders. Okay. We have the conventional expanders, something like this, that yes. you, you put it, you have a magnet, you can localize it in the office, you come after the mastectomy, we place this in the time of the mastectomy, and then we slowly expand this, putting an injection with saline every week. We have some modification of the newest one that have two ports like this one. So now we have one that can put fluid, the one that can remove any fluid collection around the expander. Okay, we and these are normally used for not just cancer patients, but... Most of the time for cancer most patients. Most of the time for cancer Sometimes patients. Sometimes you have some other abnormalities of the breast that you can use it. Right. But some of the time for that. Okay. And then you have the newest ones are this one, which is a, a CO2 canister inside a reservoir of CO2. Oh, wow. And this is a remote control. The patient does this at home. So the patient localized where the port is. Once it localized where the port is, then they shoot here and they they shoot here and they put air inside. So it's 10 cc per day. It's less than coming every week and putting 60 cc's. So they can do it at home. They can be in Orlando, we are in Miami, and then they come once a week, once every two weeks to check how it's doing because we can control the uh, amount every time they put it with this remote control. They don't have to have a needle stick.